Mike, you've been working in the field of open innovation for many years now. Why do you believe that this field is becoming more important for corporations right now? You know, I, Tomas, I think this is probably the best time there's ever been to be an innovator and to be a corporate person looking for innovation. It's just because 10 to 12 years ago when I first started working in this field, uh, companies were just waking up to the ideas that were outside of their walls. What's changed in the past 10 to 12 years has been companies have gone from this being a nice thing to have to a must-have. And there's a whole infrastructure of partners and tools out there to help people do it better. So companies need to be doing this now because their competitors are doing it and they need to be doing it better than their competitors in order to, uh, to stay relevant. How can a company that's just starting in the field successfully find the right startup for their challenge? And what's, what's the role that you see for external scouts to support that process? Well, the first advice I guess I would give for any company getting started is to start. You know, there is this uh, perhaps fear that because of the unknown and all of the um, newness of this that you tend to put it off. But just getting started, taking that first step, goes a long way. Uh, there is something, um, you know, almost magical, I would say, about um, when you do these events with entrepreneurs, how um, very quickly trust gets built, very quickly personal relationships get built. You realize this is not a technology business. This is a people business, and it's about building relationships. So we all know how to build relationships. So as long as we get, get this back to starting to connect to people who um, uh, might have something of interest to us, uh, it really, uh, for me, as, a, as an ex-corporate executive, I found working with entrepreneurs and startups inspired me. Uh, I just got a certain level of passion and energy by interacting with them, doing projects with them. And uh, most of the corporations I work with, uh, the more I see them working with startups, the more I see that culture becoming shifted and becoming more entrepreneurial, if you will, from the outside in. What do you see as the role of the external scouts? scouting companies and brokers? So the role of intermediaries or brokers, uh, it, it's something that's evolved over the 10 to 15 years that open innovation has taken hold. In the early days, they, the brokers, uh, and my firm has been a broker, uh, you know, uh, I know that uh, DRAFT is a, is a leading broker and intermediary in this space. In the early days of the science-based open innovation work, uh, those brokers were really, in a lot of ways, the, um, the only way to get to the technology firms because they had unique access and knowledge of how to find them and uh, really knew how to translate the um, entrepreneur's language to the corporate's language. And they added a lot of value. What's happened over those years is even the intermediaries have been cut out because software has replaced that. Companies have become more comfortable on their own in making some of that work um, happen. So... Uh, the, inter the role of the, in of the intermediary is changing. It's changing from just matchmaker to needing to be a facilitator of the process. And one of the things I love about what DRAFT is doing is not simply making a connection and saying, here you go, here's your startup, good luck, but helping to bring them together, structure the agreement, get them piloting together very quickly. That's a very value-added process that uh, uh, you, they'll never be able to do on their own. And, and quite frankly, um, should be doing with someone in the outside who can uh, help to facilitate both sides of that. How do you see uh, working with startups and a, a startup ecosystem might help companies uh, do the digital transformation right? So I think digital transformation is really um, a broad term for the fact that the physical and digital worlds are becoming one. And it's both scary and a big opportunity for companies that are traditionally product or service companies to now have to make digital not just about their back office, but about part of their offering. But it also creates great opportunity to reinvent business models and not just to provide the existing source of revenue. Going back to that idea that we're trying to build transformational innovation that is our future core business, uh, digital transformation is really, I think, one of the key ways we're going to get there. And when it comes to, we've talked about, um, you know, learning to work in this open innovation space, it isn't just about how we partner on the outside. It's about what our organization looks like on the inside. I really think that organizational models 10, 15 years from now are going to be a lot different than they are today. That we're not going to be monolithic big organizations that look outside for startups for ideas. We're going to have this virtual enterprise where uh, companies are more fluid. That The boundary between 
what's the company and what's my ecosystem of partners is going to be blurred. In a lot of ways, it's, it's like the movie industry where creatives come together with directors and production houses to run a project and then disperse and then form again in another way. And we need to be thinking about how we structure our businesses in ways that allow us that same level of being fluid. In fact, in the future, I, I really think that the way we're going to become good leaders in corporate uh, enterprises is to have spent some of our time in our careers moving back and forth between entrepreneurial startup worlds and corporate worlds because it's, it's no longer enough to um, uh, only have the set of skills of knowing how to work within a disciplined structured orientation. You also now have to combine that with knowing how to work with startups and like a startup.